Hi everybody. Welcome to Universe View Odyssey channel. Dialogue concerning Einstein's imagination of the curved space Q1. In the last video, you introduced Einstein's insight into light bending through the equivalence principle by a spacecraft thought experiment. Today you're going to introduce how Einstein imagined and visualized the curved space, right? Yes, curved space, can you imagine it? After gaining insight into the bending of light by gravity, Einstein finally felt the need to innovate the concept of space. In imagining a new space structure, the Ehrenfest paradox, proposed by his friend Paul Ehrenfest became a good hint. Q2 Briefly explain what the Ehrenfest's paradox is. Ehrenfest's paradox was proposed by Paul Ehrenfest, an Austrian-born theoretical physicist and Einstein's best friend. When an ideal rigid disk is rotated, the circumference should be contracted by Lawrence Fitzgerald contraction. But the radius, perpendicular to the velocity, remains the same. So the rotating rigid disk should shatter. A rigid body is defined as an object that does not deform in shape or size even when an external force is applied. But the rigid disk shatter in this case. So it's a paradox. Also in this case, the value of pi, pi equals circumference, diameter, becomes smaller than 3.14159, that used to know. Q3. This is paradoxical, since in accordance with Euclidean geometry, it should be exactly equal to pi. I understood why that's a paradox. However, I wonder what a disk with the same radius but reduced circumference would look like. I can't imagine. Even Einstein would have been troubled because he couldn't imagine it. He finally tried to paint a picture of such a strange disk through a thought experiment. Q4. There is always a thought experiment here. What kind of thought experiment is this time? It is a thought experiment named, Behavior of Clocks and Measuring Rods on a Rotating Body of Reference, based on the Air and Fest's Paradox. Q5. It seems like a thought experiment to measure time with a clock and measure the length with a ruler on a rotating disk. That's right. Shall we measure the time on the disk first? Let's put the clocks that match the same in the center, middle and edge of the disk. Which clock will run the slowest? Q6. The faster the speed, the slower it goes. So the outermost clock seems to run the slowest while the middle clock goes a little slower and the center doesn't move, so I think the clock is ticking as it is stationary. You got it right. Now Einstein measures the length in the tangential direction of rotation where he left the clock. What will the ruler be like? Q7. Does the length of the ruler get shorter? That's right, it has been shortened. He measured the circumference of the disk with a shortened ruler, and the circumference is longer than when it was stationary. Then, when measuring the radius, the ruler does not contract because it is perpendicular to the velocity. So the radius is measured like a stationary disk. If you calculate the pi, pi equals circumference, diameter, you get a much larger number than the 3.14159 we used to know. Furthermore, the value of pi was measured differently in different parts of the disk. Because the tangential speeds are different. Einstein applies the equivalence principle to this thought experiment. If rotational speed, equals acceleration, changes the circumference of each part of the disk, gravity also changes the circumference of each part of the disk. Einstein came up with this result through this thought experiment. Q8. So, you can think of a disk with high speed on the outer edge and slowing down on the inside as a disk with a high gravitational field on the outside and a weaker gravitational field toward the center. Through this thought experiment, in which the gravitational field also changes the circumference of the circle, Einstein was able to imagine a curved space at last. You're right. 
Now, can you imagine a disk whose pi, pi, value is not 3.14159, and where time flows differently? The fact that the pi value is not the 3.14159, we used to know means that it is not flat. The pi value we used to know is derived from Euclidean geometry, which is a plane geometry. Through this, Einstein realized that the three-dimensional space affected by the gravitational field could not be described by Euclidean geometry, and decided to find a new geometry. Before that, Einstein first tries to imagine pictures of the curved space that the new geometry will draw. I'll show you the specific pictures next time. Thanks for watching. You can read this story in Injury Time, injurytime.kr.